Yeah, but there's only one that matters, and that is Thunder Dragon Colossus, baby! Welcome to Master Duel Free to Play Thunder Dragons, where we attempt to climb the ladder up to the highest rank of Platinum using only the best deck in the format, Thunder Dragon. And all of this will be accomplished without spending a single dollar in the store. But to do this, we're going to need a plan. The plan is incredibly simple. First of all, we do all of the starting tutorial missions. Basically, when you start the game the first time, you're rewarded with a bunch of gems simply for clicking the skip button, but for the second line of tutorial missions, you actually have to play through all of them. Let's just say, for anyone who's played Yu-Gi-Oh! before, they are incredibly basic and shouldn't take you longer than maybe 30 minutes to blast through. Once you've sat through the torment of dueling the AI for a couple of minutes, you will hit that marvelous goal button and in your possession will be a massive horde of gems. Once we've got our gems in hand, we need to start planning out what we want the deck to be so that we can more accurately go for the packs we need. As a free-to-play player, the worst thing we can do is spend gems on things we're not going to use. Make sure to plan ahead so that you don't waste your gems and you end up with a completed deck in the long run. Once you have all of this done, there's only one thing left to do. Blast open those packs. Now, if you've followed along thus far, you should have around 9,000 gems in your possession, which is just enough for 90 packs. These packs you should spend on whatever your deck currently needs, and make sure to note what ultra rares and super rares you manage to pull, so that you can disenchant them and craft them into other cards later. I'll save you the trouble of all of the work that I did, because it did take a good 30 minutes just to open and, you know, make everything, but this was the deck that I attempted to make, and... This is what we ended up with. Unfortunately, we didn't quite hit all of the cards that we needed to make it work, especially in the Ultra Rare department, but that's not the biggest deal here. Just by playing in Ranked Mode and continuing the Solo Mode, you will earn quite a lot of gems progressively, meaning this episode we'll be playing with a subpar list, but by the end of the series, we should have our completed list with no worries. Speaking of which, though, I think it's time we actually take this deck for a spin in a real duel. So for our first ever Master Duel, our opening hand is absolutely insane. We'll open with the Allure of Darkness pitching the Dragon Dark, which will activate the Dragon Dark's effect to search us Thunder Dragon Fusion. With Thunder Dragon also in hand, we're going to do the Thunder Dragon stuff from back in the goat days, pitching a Thunder Dragon to search a Thunder Dragon, then doing the exact same thing again, so we end up with one Thunder Dragon in our hand. At this point, we're going to activate Black Dragon Collapse Serpent, banishing one of the Thunder Dragons, and Chaos Valkyria, banishing the other one. We're going to Link Summon using both of these in order to get ourselves into IP Mascarena. Mascarena is amazing for this deck because we have a lot of spare material we won't use otherwise. Black Dragon will search us White Dragon, which will allow us to then special summon ourselves the Dragon Duo. Doing this, of course, we get to banish a card off of Valkyria, and we get to summon the boy himself, Thunder Dragon Colossus. That's insane. We'll activate Thunder Dragon Fusion here, shuffling back Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon, and Dragon Dark in order to fusion summon ourselves... Thunder Dragon Titan. These animations are sick. With that on board, we're going to summon ourselves the White Dragon Collapse Serpent so we don't have to use both of our Fusion Monsters as material, set ourselves an Ice Dragon's Prison, and pass the turn. We are going to get hit with an MST on our opponent's turn, destroying our Ice Dragon's Prison, which is unfortunate, to which he sets to and then passes turn. I don't think that's enough to stop our dragons, buddy, but hey, you do you. We'll activate Thunder Dragon Fusion in the graveyard to search ourselves a Thunder Dragon Dark here, then activating ourselves Thunder Dragon's effect in order to activate Titan's effect, which will pop a card on the field. We'll go for the back row here. And it turns out to be a card I've never seen in my life before. We'll draw ourselves into our Thunder Dragon, activating Thunder Dragon's effect again, which of course allows us to use Titan once more. Titan is going to pop the second back row, and at this point, our opponent has simply had enough of our games and decides to rage quit, leaving us with a 1-0 record.
Heading into our second duel of today, our starting hand this time around is almost unplayable. Ending up drawing two aloof lupines is not what we want to see, so we have to set two pass, hope for the best. Fortunately for us, our opponent also just sets one and passes back to us, and drawing the Dragon Dark will spell this game. We'll summon our second aloof lupine, showing out our Dragon Dark from hand and Dragon War from the deck, activating both effects. Dragon Dark searching us a... Thunder Dragon Fusion, what else would it be? Then we're using Dragon Roar's effect to special summon a Dragon Matrix from the deck. This becomes important because it's the only way we can put a Thunder into our hand. We're going to link both of Lupine as well as the Matrix offer an IP Mascarena, activating Matrix to draw another Matrix. This Matrix becomes important because we're going to activate Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion is going to bring out Kaminari Attack, which is just a useless vanilla, but it is a Thunder type, meaning we can abuse it to summon Titan. Titan gets brought out to the field, to which we will flip open our second Aloof Lupine, activating our Thunder Dragon Fusion, because we fear literally nothing, as we Fusion Summon yet another Titan. Bringing two Titans onto the battlefield means we have a lot of power and a lot of ways to prevent it from going away. Our Aloof Lupine goes into the defense position, which ends up being a ZW Ascended whatever it is. We go for the direct attack of every monster, leaving our opponent at 800. Thinking he'll survive, we activate our Ice Dragon's Prison to return back the CW and use its 800 attack to OTK and finish the game, leaving us at a clean 2-0 slate. So for our final duel of today, we're going up against another fan favorite, Blue Eyes. I have a slight feeling we're going to see a lot of this. Presumably, our opponent bricks hard going first here, activating trade and then only setting two passing to us. But we don't exactly have that great of a hand either. We're going to activate Thunder Dragon, doing an oddity here and actually drawing both Thunder Dragons because we have a Chaos Space in our hand. We're going to use Chaos Space, pitching the Thunder Dragon, going into Chaos Creator, and here I misplay hard because I forget we don't have a way of getting a Dark into the graveyard to actually trigger our Chaos Creator. Regardless of that though, we do manage to bring out Colossus onto the field at the very least, drawing a Matrix for a future turn. So even through the screw up, I'm hoping that's enough. White Stone of Ancients is going to be destroyed by our Colossus here, which means he's going to bring out a Blue Eyes White Dragon at the end of his turn, which is about as bad as it's going to get, as it currently gets over most of our board. We do have the Matrix to stop him from attacking, but you never know what Blue Eyes can do. He's going to activate the effect of the White Stone to bring back the White Dragon of Ancients, to which we are going to flip Ice Dragon's Prison. Ice Dragon's Prison is going to special summon it before he has a chance to, and then banishing both it and the Blue Eyes White Dragon from the field. This way, he's not gaining any advantage and is forced to set a monster, activate another trading to get rid of alternative dragons, setting two and passing back to us. In the turn change, we are hoping to draw anything that starts our combo, and Allure of Darkness might just be it. Activating Allure of Darkness, we draw into the Dragon Dark, and that is going to be the end of the game, folks. We activate the Dragon Dark effect, getting us Thunder Dragon Fusion once again, activating the Thunder Dragon Fusion, shuffling back Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon, and Dragon Dark in order to Fusion Summon Thunder Dragon Titan. With Titan now on the board, we are able to start popping cards on the field, but our opponent is going to have none of that. Knowing he's lost, he scoops it up, and we take a clean 3-0 sweep for the first episode. And that's going to be it for this first episode. We end up in Bronze 4 currently with a 3-win streak on no losses. I don't think we could have asked for a better beginning to this, but from this point forward, it's only going to get tougher, and we're only going to have to improve our deck further to reach that elusive Platinum 1 rank. Now, as always, if you enjoy this content, do remember to leave a comment down below answering the question, what's your favorite deck? Mine's Thunder Dragon, as you can probably tell, but there is a lot of decks out there. I'd like to know your favorite. If you did enjoy the content further than that, do remember to click the subscribe button down below because it helps out the channel a ton. Leave a like on the video, and next week, we have some improvements to make to the deck, and we need to continue the climb to reach Platinum 1. But as always, remember to stay safe out there.